Hello guys, welcome back to How to Hack. Today we are going to continue with our API pen testing tutorial. We will work with Rebase Engineering the API, which means currently we don't have any API document or any kind of YAML file which can be imported into the Postman. But we have an application which is vulnerable. So by using Rebase Engineering, we can collect our own API file which we can import into the Postman. So at first, we have to install a tool called MITMWeb. If it is not installed in your machine, you have to install it. MITMWeb is currently running in my machine and it is opening with a web interface. Which is listening on port number 8081. Now we will open up the crappy in our browser. To start the docker file, we have to use docker minus compose space chart. So this will start all the necessary files. By using docker ps minus a, we can identify the port through which crappy is running. That is double eight double eight. You have to install proxy proxy in your device and make sure it is configured in a way it is listening to your loopback IP and also the port number 8080 Now we can see here whatever communication we make through our browser that's been captured to the proxy to the web interface we can confirm that so now we have to make sure we visit the page of crappy and click on every possible options at first i am creating an account here so all the interaction which i make here in the application which will be recorded in the proxy and at last we will import this proxy file into the postman tool you can see here all the communications are coming to the browser now we have to make sure we click on every possible form we are selecting every possible options in the dashboard we can see an option for add vehicle so once we click on this option we can see it's asking for pin code and vin number so this number is available only in the mail you have provided but you don't have to log into your mail account Instead of that, while pulling up the broken image, we have installed a mail hogger application. So any mail receiving in this crappy will be received at the mail hogger account. We can see here in the mail hogger account that is running on port number 8025, I have received the VIN number and the PIN code. So we have to enter it into the crappy application. To avoid unnecessary recording of web interface i am disabling the proxy proxy and i am enabling according to the need so remember one thing if you are disabling proxy proxy in any reason once you came back to crappy you have to enable it if you forget to do that you may miss some of the various important api communication we can see here after entering the exact pin code and vin number the details of vehicle has been added and also the location of vehicle is been displayed in a mini map but while you are doing this practical maybe you are facing an issue with the map but don't worry in that case you have to import a certificate from this MITM web official website so this is the link you have to visit and also this is a link you have to click on it after that just download the certificate and import into the browser then after that will be no issue with the browser window now you have to make sure you click on every possible button and, and every possible options. You have to click on contact mechanic. You can buy any product, you can return it, you can view the order. We are making sure we click on every possible button. In the community itself, we have an option to add new post and comment on the existing one. So make sure you are doing it all. In your profile, you can upload a picture and also you can change it. We can update your email. So once you update the email, the new email verification is going to the mail hog account. So make sure you are accessing the mail hog and 
verifying the new mail. Now make sure you are resetting the password and also you press on forget password. You know you can see there is an option for uploading cancel video. So you can upload a new video and also you can change the name of the video. After you click on every possible options, now we are going to save the file. Now we can the now we can see the file is saved as flows. So now we will do one thing. Now we are converting this file to to a YAML file. We have to make sure any other communication happen other than from our Canopy website. We have to remove it. So we are using this command. MITM proxy to Swagger minus I then the location of the flow file then minus O camel file extension then minus P then the address of the application running in our local host then minus of flow so now it will write into a new file name called specs.yaml remove ignore prefix to generate endpoint with its URL so we can see here from the line tool a lot of API is starting with ignore. So make sure you remove all the weight ignore from the API URL. Make sure you are not removing the hyphen from the following lines. Only the weight ignore should be removed. And also this should be removed only from the place where it's containing API as a keyword. We can see here from 12 to the 32. Up to this much line. Each, each line of URL have the keyword API. So we remove ignore keyword only from these lines. If any of the line like 34, there is no API keyword in the URL. So we are ignoring that one. And make sure you are not removing the hyphen. After saving the file, we have to repeat the steps once again. You can check into the command MIT proceed to swagger minus i the path to the following flow file then after a new yaml file then after minus p again the ip address and the port number where which crappy is running and minus of flow then minus minus example this is index you have to follow for creating the yaml file which is to be import to the postman once you can see it complete up to 100 percentage you can just open it in a website called swagger editor if you are able to successfully see all the get post requests in this website which means the operation is performed successfully now this file can be moved to the postman without any error now you can see here i am importing this file to the postman we can see here the file is been imported to the postman Now we can see all the interactions in the browser which is still recorded here and we can see all the get post requests here. Now we will continue with our exploitation of API pen testing. For more cybersecurity videos you can subscribe my channel.